Well, John is now is the editor of the Jewish Chronicle. Stephen Pollard, welcome to you. Hi. She has now been suspended. Statements have been made by the Labour leadership. Do you think uh, this particular issue has been dealt with now satisfactorily? Probably. Um, I mean, there are still a number of unanswered questions. There's one very big, odd question, which is that the statement that she released earlier today, it appears, was doctored somehow uh, by uh, somebody within the Labour Party that the initial draft that BuzzFeed got hold of uh, was a much more fulsome and really rather good apology. What she actually published was really so-so. Um, now, Labour Party HQ told us at the JC that um, they had nothing to do with it. They were very angry at the suggestion, which leaves one to think that they were dropping the leader's office in it, as it were. And there are all kinds of rumours going round as to who actually did fiddle with this statement. I mean, what uh, was taken out or disappeared between the draft and uh, the published article was specific references to anti-Semitism and there being a problem uh, within uh, the Labour Party or within yes. the Labour movement about anti-Semitism, a toxic conspiracy theories, group blame and stereotyping. Uh, and she said, we on the left must stop procrastinating and tackle oppression within our own ranks, especially anti-Jewish oppression. Now, why would you want to take that out? Well, exactly. And I think that begs the whole question. In a way, Naz Shah is, is almost irrelevant. I mean, you know, clearly what she's done was bad and she's apologised herself and so on. The issue isn't really Naz Shah, nor is it the series of individuals that have been outed over the last few weeks. The issue is the Labour Party leadership that appears to have no real interest in dealing with anti-Semitism. Jeremy Corbyn says repeatedly that, you know, that in his DNA is fighting racism and that that's, you know, that's what he is, he's anti-racist. And he goes, he sort of mouths the platitudes. But when it comes to actually taking proper action against anti-Semitism, which doesn't mean just suspending people when the media happen to find out about someone. It means, you know, making speeches, dealing with it, confronting, more importantly, the culture on the left that appears to have warped uh, in recent years, led, in fact, by Mr Corbyn himself, and actually dealing with that. But, but I mean, it, it is possible to oppose... Israel policy, yes. isn't it? It's absolutely Without being anti-Semitic. Anti I mean, this is the canard that's thrown at people like me, is that we say, oh, you're just taking anti-Israel people and accusing them of being anti-Semites. It's a complete lie. It's complete nonsense. Of course you can oppose Israel. Of course you can oppose everything about Israel. I mean, myself, I'm passionately opposed to, the, to, to Israel being in the West Bank. You know, I criticise the Prime Minister of Israel regularly for doing that. It doesn't make me an anti-Semite. Um, so th this is just obfuscation, because what's happened is that people have caught on to the idea that they can say they're anti-Zionist, and it gives them a sort of get-out-of-jail-free card, so they can talk about, as other people have done, uh, you know, Zionist control of the media. That's one of the things that goes round. Or they talk about the Rothschilds, as if the Rothschilds run the world. They talk about, you know, Zionist conspiracies. If you substitute Zionist, for, you know, if you put Jew in, which is what they're really meaning, um, they think they've been really clever and got away with it, but they haven't. They're actually, that is anti-Semitism. That's not being anti-Israel, that's being anti-Semitic. And as a, a leading figure in, 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 the, in the Jewish community, do you feel that there is an increase in anti-Semitism and that it is predominantly coming from the left? Well... You know, there's, statistically, there is an increase in anti-Semitic incidents. If you look at the Metropolitan Police's figures and figures produced by the Community Security Trust, there's just objectively there is an, an increase. Uh, but in, in some ways, what's more pertinent to this is a, a sort of feeling as to whether anti-Semitism is on the rise politically. And I think there's definitely an unpleasant tone to a lot of politics. I mean, I've been around this area for you know 20 30 years and if you told me 15 years ago that I'd be sitting here on Sky News talking about anti-semitism in the Labour Party I thought you were mad basically uh, you know three weeks ago the president of the Board of Deputies of British Jews the representative body had to issue a statement accusing the leader of one of our two mainstream parties two main political parties of being soft on anti-semitism I mean, it's astonishing. So what does Jeremy world like Corbyn this. need to do to clean it up? Well, he needs, first of all, to make it clear that he's not just going through the motions, that he gets it, that he realises that this obsession with anti-Zionism, as he would put it, and other, other people would put it, is masking something deeper and much more unpleasant. 
stephen pollard thank you very much. thank you.